I'm sure a lot of you have heard the classic line, high school is only four years of your life. My retort to that line is, four years for an 18 year old is over a fifth of their life. But it's not just about the amount of time, it's about what happens during those four years. For a lot of people, myself included, high school was a time of extreme growth and change, whether that be for better or for worse. It's one of the most influential time periods in shaping one's personality. It's not just four years of your life. It's the last four years of schooling for some people, and for others it's the last four years of secondary schooling. Everyone will spend more years of their life out of school than in, but regardless of that factor, your experiences during school are exclusive to that time period. To that extent, those memories are some of the most influential a person can have. The day before spring break, tension filled the air at my school. The question in the back of everyone's minds was, when will we be back in school? Little did everyone know that that day was our last day of school. At first, when I heard the news that my school had extended its spring break for an entire week, and then eventually that my school was going online for the rest of the year, I was ecstatic. I finally had the time to do everything I wanted to do. Finish Persona 5, work on writing my light novel, start my list of planned manga and anime, and learn how to play fingerstyle guitar. However, I realized quickly that, despite having a lot of free time on my hands, I just didn't feel like being productive. All of my classes added up to about an hour of work each day, so I stopped caring about them entirely. It was mostly busy work with the exception of a few things anyway. I had always thought that I was a productive person of my own volition. It turned out that I was actually only productive because of the structure that being in school provided me. But the structure wasn't the only thing I missed from high school. I was a very involved student in my high school. After junior high, I moved from suburban Indiana to rural Indiana, and I moved from a school where my graduating class was several thousand to a school where my graduating class was less than 50. It was a small town school, and I still remember the first time I was asked to join an extracurricular. We had just finished running the pacer test in PE, and a girl told me that I should join the cross country team. I had never experienced extracurriculars before, so I was unsure of what to do. If I hadn't been to a small town, there was absolutely no chance that I would have been asked to join a sports team, let alone any other club. I attended one practice, and on a whim decided that I would do it. Throughout high school, I had so many other experiences that were a result of me joining the cross country team, and discovering what being on a team or in a club was really like. My teammates became something like family to me. That's saying a lot, considering this was a during a time in my life where I found it extremely difficult to become attached to people. I branched out into so many other clubs, and I'm glad I did. I never would have been able to connect with people at the school without finding my place in these clubs first. When I said I was involved, I meant I was involved. <laughs> Listing all the clubs I was a part of, I was in cross country, track, esports, drama club, business professionals of America, national honor society, travel club, and writing club. I have fond memories of all of these clubs. In cross country, I found my place in a group of people who were like family to me. In track, I made great friends that I still am fairly close with today. In esports, I learned how to lead a team and how to bond with people over a video game. Our smite team made it all the way to the finals in the HSCL and actually won the tournament. It made me realize how great it is to accomplish something with someone rather than alone. In Drama Club, I made some great friends, overcame my mild stage fright, and learned how to portray an entire character's story in just a few words or actions. In BPA, I made it all the way to the state conference, and although it was just professional test taking, it was some of the most fun I'd had with that group of people. In Travel Club, just like the Light Music Club did, I got to visit London. I was able to see another part of the world and a whole new culture. All of these experiences made me who I am. I've attached myself to those memories, and I'll never let them go. However, I didn't realize how important those memories were until it was all over. Within the blink of an eye, I was on summer break, counting down the weeks before I started college. There was no grand transition or goodbye to the small world that had shaped who I was. With the quarantine, I missed out on a proper closing to my high school years. My final drama club play, my final esports match, my final track meet, I missed all of them. The transition out of high school was so awkward and empty that I didn't fully grasp the fact that my high school years were over. That was until I watched K-On. I shared my high school experience with the Light Music Club. Just like the members of the Light Music Club in each of my clubs, I laughed, cried, practiced, and achieved great things with groups of wonderful people. However, my Light Music Club experience was ripped straight from my hands, just like it was from every senior of 2020. 
After watching episode 20 of season 2, it really hit me. I had graduated. My high school years were over. After watching the episode, I looked back at old pictures of my high school years while listening to the soundtrack of Kaon. I cried relentlessly as I did so, reminiscing on all of my experiences and what I was going to miss. Now, whenever I hear the music from Kaon, I usually find myself on the verge of tears. Just because our Light Music Club experience was stolen from us at the very end does not mean it was entirely lost. We didn't have a grand closure to our high school careers, in fact, we hardly had any closure at all. Unfortunately, that caused me to overlook how much high school meant to me. I never had a chance to look back and reflect on those years because of it being cut off so abruptly, but now I can look back proudly at how far I've come. All of these people, clubs, experiences, they all changed me. I wouldn't be the same without them. So yeah, it sucks that we didn't get the authentic light music club experience we were all hoping for at the end of our high school careers, but we shouldn't brush off the wonderful experiences we did have. We missed out on a lot, but we experienced a lot more than we missed out on. k was the show that taught me that. Watching k made me grateful for all the memories I had, and it made me want to strive to make more lasting memories with new opportunities on the horizon. Seniors of 2020, you have parted ways with high school or college now. I recommend you take a moment and look back. Look back on everything, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Not just so you can cherish those memories, but so you can give a proper goodbye. Now to my high school. This is goodbye. I will never lose those wonderful memories you've given me, and I will never lose the spark for a change you inspired in me. To all the people that were like a family to me in my clubs and classes, thanks. Thanks for everything. It's time for me to move on.